Hello and welcome back to Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Last time we... Oh my lord, the rainy season has been a thing. There are mosquitoes flying around, our science machine is flooded. Oh my goodness. But on the upside, we did get a pirata hatitator, which is quite nice, and an alchemy engine, which is also quite nice, and a bunch of berry bushes. Die, you little mosquito. Oh my lord, I can't get to it. It's not possible. Good god. Okay. Oh, what do we even need to do? Um, I think one thing that we do need to do, since this rain is more of a nuisance than it is a serious problem right now. Oh, good lord. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh my lord. We almost got got by that guy. Um, what we need to do is see if we can't get a... Oh, what is it even called, mate? Ah, endothermic fire pit. That's what we need. Because I I think that dry season is next. I think that's what it was. I've seen it somewhere. And I think it's dry season. So, um, we... I'm concerned that dry season may be filled with, um, just really hot days. And if that's the case, we are not prepared properly for that situation. So we need to get ourselves an endothermic fire pit and fix that situation. In order to do that, we do need niter, which all of our niter flew away when our base burned, which is terrible. Don't you hate it? It's just the worst. So here we are on a boat, voyaging our way to the volcanic zone. Hopefully it won't kill us. It's arguable. Who knows? Is it, our boat is really broken at this point. We probably need to get a new boat. Maybe. Are these tall birds still mad at me for stealing their egg? That's gonna be quite a question. If that tall bird who I stole the egg from is still here, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be happy about me. I would figure that's probably not gonna be a thing. Hello, flames. Thanks for the niter. Oh, we'll also need some stone, won't we? Because we don't have any stone back at base. We also just don't have a pickaxe on us. But we don't need it because we need a shovel. So we built a pickaxe and we didn't even need it. Great. Brilliant. No, it's fine. It's fine. We'll be okay. Hey, buzz off, mosquito. Who cares about you? The mosquito can actually buzz off, like literally, because it's a mosquito. And that's the thing you can do. Get out of here, mosquito. My word. I'm trying to dig highly volatile batches of lava. Would you buzz off? Dude, we could hit the mosquito with a shovel, couldn't we? Die, mosquito! Well, it didn't really do anything. Okay. You can't do that. What do you mean you can't do that? What were you trying to do, WX-78? What the heck? Um... WX-78 seems to be having some problems with the use of the spacebar. Give me one second. Give me one moment. I'm gonna reload. Okay, so the problem was, for some reason, WX-78, when we were pressing space, was absolutely losing his mind. You saw the spinning stuff. I don't know what was going on, but I think we fixed it. It's fine. How much niter do we actually have right now? Seven? Oh, that should be way more than enough for an endothermic fire pit. It's just a matter of the rock. Okay. So once we've gotten all that rock, we should be in a good situation outside of the mosquitoes. Ooh, gems come out of these? I didn't know that gems came out of these. Oh my lord. I've found a source of gemstones. Brilliant. Oh, 
And the weather's nice again, so we can put our garland on. Oh my word. Okay. Wobster. Armored meat source. I want that Wobster so bad. How do you get a Wobster? Come on, there's got to be something. Mm. Wait, are we so broken that we're taking on water? Oh no. That's actually really bad. We are taking on water, people. We're going to have to get to shore as soon as possible. Come on, go WX-78. Oh, that's gonna hurt a lot. That's gonna hurt a ton. So we are only at, we're at 40 water right now, which is a whole new level of bad. My word. Okay, we'll work it out, we'll work it out, don't worry. We'll be like the Beatles and work it out. Um, so, we should have enough for the endothermic fire pit. We'll get back up to our base and check it out. See if we got it. Hello? We don't happen to have enough for the uh, endothermic fire pit, do we? Totally. Totally. Nice. So we'll also have to eat something to keep ourselves alive because we could die. And that'd be bad. I don't wanna die. Nobody wants to die. Um, oh my lord. What are we gonna put on the fire tonight? This particular little clump of grass? Fine. Grass clump, you're dead. I know I usually don't use grass clumps in these situations, but it has come to my attention that it is quite necessary to use a grass clump here. So, goodbye grass clump. There we go, and we got some pierogies. Oh my lord, they healed me so much. Perfect, that's what we needed. Oh, and we're really low on water at this point, which is not a bad thing. In case the phrasing of that made you think it was bad, it's not. It's very good. We don't want to be covered in water. Nobody wants to be covered in water when they're a robot. Not that people are often robots, but you know. Hey, 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 hey. Buzz off. There we go. Okay. Terrible hand. Gone. Mosquito. Ow. So it looked like, from what I saw, um, of the mosquitoes fighting the snakes, it looks like when those mosquitoes become engorged on the blood of their enemies, or in my case, the oil of their enemies, they explode. And I don't want to know what that explosion does to us. Probably not good, whatever it is. So let's see, is there a Wobster trap in here? Would you buzz off? Oh my lord! I'm after you, you're done. Oh, I wish I could catch it. I can't. It's terrible. So where is the Wobster trap? There has to be a Wobster trap here somewhere. My lord, I can't check anything. Oh goodness. Start checking the situation and immediately, immediately it comes over and it's like, oh hey, do you want to uh, get eaten? And I'm like, no. You're done, you're done. Get back here, get back. Ah. They're a nuisance. I can't get them. I can't stop them. Oh, I got this one. That one's dead. Oh. They're taking health from me, left, right, and center. You can't take my life! You can take... I don't, I don't know what you... Don't take anything, please. Preferably don't take anything. Come on, bring it. Oh, hid behind the alchemy engine. Clever little bugger. Hmm. Dude, I'm trying to check my alchemy engine, mate. It's definitely not under there. What was that? Was WX-78 saying something? WX-78, did you say something? Do you hear anything? 
Is that the problem? If so, we really need to know. This is quite important. Okay. I guess he didn't. I thought he had said something, but no. Okay. So, what we need is... Oh, okay. We're working on an endothermic fire pit. It's really hard to concentrate with all of these bugs around. One, two, three, four... And we should need a fifth, right? Yes, because we've got one electrical doodad. We don't need two. There we go. And that should be enough for an endothermic fire pit, I believe. We need one more. Cut stone. So where beeth thou cut stone? There you beeth. God. You're done. Did you die, you bees. Oh, I got them. Wow. Hey, look, the crabs are back. Huh. Does that mean it's the end of rainy season? That would be massively ideal, quite frankly. Because I kind of hate rainy season. It's terrible. It's kind of the worst. Ooh, stale, soggy fish. I will take that. Thank you very much. Sounds delicious. Okay. So we should have endothermic fire pit. And I guess we can put it, we want to put it, ow, buzz off, stupid little thing. We want to put it near to our base. Because if it does get hot enough that we need an endothermic fire pit, that should also mean that we'll need, um, buzz off, that it'll light everything on fire. I swear to goodness. These things are terrible. I can't even. They are just such a nuisance. I try to do something for five seconds, and these little bugs just come out of nowhere. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay, calm down, people. It's gonna be fine. We're all gonna be fine, I swear. My word. What's that? Yellow mosquito sack. Huh. There we go. Okay. So what do we need next? Probably a new boat is the ideal thing. Come on, let's bring it. Got him. And another yellow mosquito sack. Do these, are these good for us in any way? I'm gonna assume that they are because I mean we have them best to assume that what we have we actually need so we'll just keep that on us um boat right it's hard to keep track of what we're doing with all those bugs um we need to get some fuel for the fire tonight first and foremost and then we'll work on getting a boat up there we go perfect Now, for a boat, we will need quite a bit of jazz. Die. There we go. Okay. I know how to fight them now. So the ideal way to fight these mosquitoes is to get them while they're coming at you. If you can't get them while they're coming at you, they're just going to run away. But if you can get them before that, you'll be fine. Oh my lord. The rain. Okay, so we're not getting covered in water when we walk over these with the umbrella on. Hmm. Wonder why that is. Wonder why. Don't know. Luckily, the chimney is uh, quite protective. Is quite protected. Sorry, not protective. It's quite protected from the water. So we don't have to worry about the chimney. Um, going out anytime soon, which is nice, very nice indeed, because that's, it's, that would maybe be the worst thing to happen in this situation. Oh, it's a flooded crock pot. We can't use our crock pot anymore, because it's flooded. 
Oh, no. That's terrible. Well, we can still eat the food that we have. There's nothing that's gonna stop us from doing that. Okay. Oh, there's a mosquito. When I say that there's nothing that will stop us from doing that, I mean there's a mosquito, and he's gonna try to stop us from doing that. So let's just cook up our little morsel. Delicious. Man, practically this entire island is currently covered in water. Ah. Ah. That's the worst. So I wonder. This umbrella, I believe, is what is protecting me from the water down here right now. It's reducing the quantity of water that can get onto me, I think. That's my current theory. If that's the case, can we use our snakeskin jacket when it's not raining to protect ourselves from the water? That would be nice. That'd be brilliant indeed. I would love that. Because, I mean, until then, we can't really make anything because uh, all of our stuff has been covered in water and is flooded. The only things that work are, well, that might, that might not work, and that might not work, but the chimney, the chimney works. So do the chests. So we got that going for us, that's for sure. Okay, what do we need for our boat? Three planks and four um, twig things. Do we have a machete on us? We don't. So we'll pick up this machete and use it. It's got 8%. Great. Great, an 8% machete. That's gonna be useful. Nice, okay. Ooh, yellow sack. Oh, now our inventory is full. That's terrible. No, drop that. We don't need it. Let's get rid of these little twig things. We need four of them, I believe it was. So we'll cut them all out and, um, you know, hope that that helps us to survive in the long run. Right now, survival is dismal. It's pathetic. Almost to the point where I prefer not to survive rather than survive, but I mean, that's pretty far, mate. You have to go real far to get there. Okay. There's our twigs. Cut down a few trees to get the rest of the wood. Oh, and hopefully at some point our base will stop flooding. I mean, I did not expect flooding to occur in this way. This is not what I expected when I saw sandbags. I thought the tide would rise and that would be the issue, but no. It's that water just pools up everywhere because it rains for days on end. Well, it doesn't actually rain for days on end. We would be doomed if it rained for days on end. No, it just rains forever. Oh my lord. Come on, let's go, Snake. Snake, I am having none of it today. Today, I've just woken up. Well, not really woken up, but you know. Um, I don't know, come into consciousness? What does WX78 do when I'm not there? I guess technically no time passes, so he uses some sort of time stopping device. Something along those lines. Anyway, he's done whatever he did and come back to realize that really the world is covered in water which is terrible for him because WX-78 is not built for the water. It's actually built for situations that aren't covered in water, which has been discussed previously. And I mean, oh my lord, how do you survive through that? How even? It must be so much easier surviving as anyone who isn't WX-78. Oh, look. Ow, buzz off, mate. I was just about to comment on how the rain stopped and that little prick goes and does that. Ugh. Okay. Let's put on our snakeskin jacket and we do get covered in water. Okay. I see how it is. 
I see. So we're just gonna have to live with the fact that unless we're wearing our Dumbrella, we can't go anywhere that is covered in water. It's kind of bad because our entire base is covered in water. Well, you got to live with it. Okay. We should have enough for a new boat, which is good. That is something that we need. Get across the water! Oh my lord, there we go. Missed him. Okay. Let's put some fuel on there and we need to eat some food. Oh, it's wet. No! How are we gonna cook our food? How are we gonna cook it? This is wretched. This is terrible. Oh my lord. We're probably not gonna get our boat tonight. We need to use our wood sparingly. So I think that what we can do, since it appears that we don't gain water when we wear an umbrella, a dumbrella, we can light this and then eat using that. Buzz off, Mosquito, I swear. I want nothing to do with you right now, Mosquito. Yeah, snakes, just go after the Mosquito. Oh, uh, Snake is dead. It does not seem like a logical move for the uh, Mosquitoes to explode when they die, but you know. I'm not gonna argue with the logic of a Mosquito. That is for sure. So we'll put a couple more logs on the fire. And then we'll move out here and stop wearing our Dumbrella because it is very low on durability. And we really need to keep it for when it actually starts to rain. Come on, let's get this monster meat and store it up in the chests. The monster meat will become rot and that rot can be used to make berries and it'll be perfect. So we'll just take all the monster meat and store it up. There we go. Hey, get back here. Okay. I hate a monsoon season. And I hate this season a lot more. I hate it so much. Can we get back to just like nice wandering tropic season? I want that again. That was nice. For the few moments in which we could just nicely wander the tropic regions without having to worry about getting covered in water, attacked by mosquitoes, all that jazz. Well, it's gone. It's over. Those days of yore are done. My word. Okay. We probably... Uh, what do we need to do? I feel like sandbags are important, but I don't know where I would put them at this point because everything that I want to put sandbags around is currently covered in water. And sandbags don't really work when it's already already covered in water. So that's a small problem. By small, I mean quite large. Uh, I guess for the next go-around, assuming we have a next go-around of the seasons, we can set up a... Oh no, 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 no. I wasn't paying attention. Um, we can build some sandbags, keep them in chests, and use them when the rainy season starts again. Because uh, monsoon season absolutely destroys sandbags. Like nobody's business. So we'll just keep it for the rainy season. That should be fine. I hope these yellow sacks are worth something at some point. Because we have a lot of them. Hey! Get out. Get out. Oh my lord. Now we're covered in water. Taking damage. Oh no. Oh no. My goodness. Hmm. We can't build anything new either because everything's covered in water. This is terrible. I hate this. Oh my lord. Mosquito right there. Oh, he's fighting a bunch of snakes. 
They seem to ignore me when they fight each other, so we should be fine. Let's just put that on. Get some cooked berries inside of us for a moment. And then we'll work it out from there. So we do need food, which is a thing. So we could look to putting up some muscle sticks. But the crabs are also coming back, which is also an option. So we could, oh my lord. How in the world did that show up? Ow. Oh, good lord. Okay, we'll just take out a few of these eyes. No! No! We're dead! Oh, what? Oh, we tried to get some fleshy meat. I didn't know they did that much damage to you. I thought, oh my goodness. Well, anyway, WX78 is dead. It's amazing. Thanks for watching, I guess. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we will get in with another person because, my word, come on now, people. Um, we have to go. We have to try again. We can't just give up. Who is this? Some sort of surfer person? We just got this person, so. The relaxed. Loves surfing, dries off quickly, is a pretty chill gal. Ah, oh, how nice. Maybe we can do her, maybe we'll do someone else. But until then, thanks for watching and, of course, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>